Hey, this is Mark with Alaska Boys. Today, I'm going black bear hunting with my good friend, Bill. Bill's lived up here a number of years. He's never been able to shoot a black bear. He's really tried a bunch of times. So we're gonna go out, see if we can seal the deal. It's early in the spring. The grass is just starting to come out. The trees are starting to bud. We're gonna go for a drive down the highway, glass a bunch of the mountains, see if we can find Bill a bear. So this kind of stuff is what these bears are totally coming out. The first things they eat, fresh little bits of grass. We're going to be looking to see if any of these places where grass or the bears have been eating, and we're going to focus around that spot. Also, when we're out, I'm going to be looking for anything we can forage. There's some shoots and greens that come up during this time of year. I'm going to see if we can find any of those and bring it home to eat. All right, just trying to make sure we got everything together. It's going out on a Saturday afternoon. Not planning on staying a whole bunch, but I gotta make sure I'm ready to stay overnight if we need to. Rain jacket, warm clothes, food, knife, all those things. I bought it used from a guy, yeah. and then I just kept it really clean and nice and oiled. Yeah. All right, we're heading down the highway. We're gonna be glassing and see if we can get Bill a bear. You ready for this, Bill? Yes, right there. <laughs> and then when the fire ended, the second one I was on. That hillside looks good. If we can find more stuff like that, a little off the road where we can glass, that would be yeah. great. So coming up here, there's a couple pullouts. Let's see if we can, not this one, but there's like another one. Let's stop the next one. All right, so we're kind of road hunting here in a certain extent and uh, we've, we're gonna glass up here and see if we can see any bears. Well, a couple really good looking black rocks up there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not one of those, you know, five minutes later that black rock gets up and starts walking across the hillside deals. <laughs> yeah. That happened once when I was hunting with Paul and uh, we were looking and, and we were goat hunting and I was like, what's that over that? Ah, oh, it's just a white rock. Uh -huh. And then about 20 minutes later, that white rock stood up and started walking across. All right, we haven't seen any bears so far. We're picking a valley and we're gonna start putting our feet to work and see if we can get up and, and find something for Bill. First step, getting on the boots and pack. All right, getting ready in the mag, nothing in the chamber. Got my bloodstained pack here for many, many, many other trips. All right, it doesn't look like there's any easy trail up here. We're just gonna have to bust through the brush here and, and kind of get through the nasty stuff for half mile or so. A long ways to the top if you want to rock and roll. We're gonna see stuff up there, but that that would be a long ways to go. You know, if we saw something, we'd have to watch it, make a plan. But uh, I hope if we see something on the other side, I'm letting that pass. Well, I'm ho I'm hoping actually we will see something on the other side, but not like you know when we're further up there and it's yeah, not crazy. This is awesome looking in here. Yeah, this is cool. So this time of year, the bears are totally just gorging on the fresh green shoots of grass. So we're trying to find some openings in the trees where we can look over some meadows and we're gonna see if we can uh, find some bears feeding out there. That's pretty impressive. That's awesome. Wow. All right, here's some fiddlehead ferns. You can eat these, cook them up, and uh, steam them. Yeah. Kind of okay. They're kind of furry. It's prior taste, but. All right, we've been hiking for a couple miles, uh, or maybe an hour and a half up here. We're still in the trees trying to break out, and uh, not looking good so far. We're gonna push on a little bit more and see if we can find something. 
I think we're getting up high enough. We should try and find a spot we can glass over here. Okay. Let's see that hillside. Okay, I've been looking the whole hike for these. This is a what we call a watermelon berry shoot. And you can tell something else has eaten it. Something else has bitten the top off. That's a good sign. These are very, very delicious. I eat these a lot in the spring. So I'm not sure what bit the top of this off. It tastes about like an asparagus, but I'm guessing it might've been a bear or something. Come check this out. I don't know, does that look like a bear did? Or maybe, it does look small, it's hard to say. Yeah. Hasn't it? Yeah, yeah probably small. But you know, it seems so brown, but then I'm looking and you can see green spots in there. What I'm not seeing though is tracks in the snow. I think I maybe see, I see all that brown stuff, and I wonder if that's a rock slide or if that's a den that was cleared out. All right, I take it back. I take it back. I can see it clearly. Oh, there's a set of bear tracks up there on the hill, on the ridge. If you get, I'll show you. They're kind of low on that snow face over there. Like. There's this bush in the way, but uh, if you look at your binoculars, you got this this face going this way and that snowy one near the bottom. There's a set of bear tracks. Kind of going left to right or right to left now near the bottom. Well, we've hiked a couple miles. We're about to the end of this bowl. You know, we really haven't seen any bears yet. We've seen a little bit of sign where they've been eating. You can see some tracks with them walking across the snow back here, but we're still looking, trying to find them. Uh, it's, it's tricky trying to find a bear for Bill. Yeah, I was surprised when I got here that there's some green grass patches over there. Might be worth just sitting here for a little bit and having a snack. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is close enough. You could take a shot. If you're yeah, yeah. Here's what we need to do. I gotta take off my boots, and then the bear's gonna show up. It happened with me and my dad two times. When the uh, first time I went bear hunting with him, <laughs> he took his boots off to like dry them. <laughs> bear walked out. That's amazing. And, uh, I missed the first time, and the bear ran off. And then uh, later that night, it happened again. It's crazy. Enough. Was that before they had a... Yeah, they didn't have I was in a rush leaving the house and I didn't grab a spoon, so I'm gonna have to carve myself a spork. stick here I'm gonna turn into a spork you got it okay so this is the spoon I made it'll work I think they're hungry enough Thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Cool. I mean, the main thing is, is you go in areas where you don't have any cell phone reception, mm -hmm. spotty reception. I wish we were seeing more bear sign, I'm sorry. but you know, it could be timing and part of it's learning this area because yeah. it's just. Exactly. I think it's hard to hunt. We need more like a U-shaped valley or something instead of this big gorge. Maybe we'll see something on the way out. So for sure I've seen two different sets of tracks up there in the snow. There's another set up over there, but I mean, it could be the same bear. Nature is not always kind. 
we were just watching a flock of snow geese flying over and um, there was uh, two eagles that were chasing them down and, and uh, attacking those, those snow geese. It was really cool to see. I love being in the forest with these giant trees <clears throat> like this one here in front of me. This thing's massive. Yeah, big trees all over here. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm, this big one's good. Ugh. Want another one? You can have them both. You want? It's kind of refreshing eating them. Yeah. Yeah, it's like slightly sweet. <clears throat> so here in the deep forest, you can see signs where they did logging, you know, 100 years ago or so, the early settlers. And uh, it's pretty interesting, though. Most of the other trees that are growing up <clears throat> are growing up out of the stumps. So... Like right here behind me, this is what they call a nurse tree. So there's a, you know, it's like a 50 year old tree, 60 year old tree growing out of the, the remains of the stump. And all around, that's what you can see. These old stumps give birth to the to the new trees and that's why they call them nurse, nurse trees. Oh, this is like garden center. Oh, yoink. Yoink. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh. Yoink. Yum. This is like the salad bar. This is the, the, the salad bar on the mountain here. All you care to eat. These would be good in a salad. Mm hmm. This tastes so good if you're a, like a miner or something, or like a, you know, I've been through the whole winter and not had any greens. I can imagine. You know, hadn't had any fresh veggies. I heard some of the pioneers, they would eat uh, cow parsnip type stuff. Somehow they could blanch it and get the poisons off of it and then eat it in the spring. Wow. I, re uh, I think I read about it in, down in Homer because they had some kind of homesteaders down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that'd been rough. Yeah, and you gotta make the most of what you have. Yeah. So much of that kind of knowledge we just lost, you know, is uh, lost these days. Well, Bill. We tried. We, we made a good effort, <laughs> but let's not let's make sure we get it done later this summer. Well, we didn't get a bear, but we got an all-you-can-eat salad buffet here on this trip. We got another thing here. This is called Lovage, right here. It's a nice little fresh green. You can eat it. It's tender. Tastes kind of like a, not quite like lettuce. It's a little bit sharper, but it's good. I've had it mixed in with a with a salad. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So. I guess we gotta turn into herbivores. <laughs> Ve veg veggie veggie eaters. Thanks for coming along on this bear hunt with me and Bill. Ended up being more of a walk through the woods, all you can eat salad buffet, eating different things we found out there. So you never know. Sometimes sometimes that's how bear hunts turn out. We didn't want to ruin a perfectly good bear hunt by actually shooting a bear and all the work that goes into that. If you want to see a successful Alaska Boys hunt, check out last year's spring black bear hunt with my nine-year-old son. It was a blast. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next adventure.